Hey everybody, it is day 25. I'm Chad, this is my friend Daniel. Uh, amazing guy right here, friend of mine. He's a certified Olympic lifting trainer and he is a, a nutrition enthusiast. Mm -hmm. And something that he and I have discussed, something he's been doing and he encouraged me to think about doing was intermittent fasting. And I know that I've been telling you guys for a while that we were gonna talk about this, so today he's gonna walk us through what, what some of the benefits are of intermittent fasting, what exactly it is. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it and then give you some tips on, on how to do that. And we're talking about intermittent fasting as we're gorging. The irony is we're gonna talk about fasting. <laughs> so fasting is a very beneficial practice. A lot of religious faiths incorporate it into their spiritual practice. So From Hindu and Buddhist to Christianity, Muslim faith, Jewish faith, all, almost all of them have some type of fasting. So it's great spiritually, it's great physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, you definitely want to do it right though. And so I'm going to link some resources in the description below so you can get some medical advice because please take medical advice when you're doing that. But today we're going to talk about a form of fasting called intermittent fasting. It's not necessarily a 21 day fast, right? It's, it's not a 40 day fast. This is a continual practice of fasting and Daniel's going to d dive into this dive into it here in a minute. It could be a day, it could be seven days every quarter. I think Daniel's practicing certain hours of every day. There's a lot of different ways to do it. So Daniel's gonna tell us today about his experience with intermittent fasting, and he's going to share some tips and tricks, as well as some benefits. Yeah. Like how it helps you. Definitely. So let's Definitely. dive into that. Yeah, so um, the intermittent fasting that I do is the 16-8, so 16 hours of fasting eight hours of, of, of a window gap to, uh, to eat, right, to, to feast. And uh, there's <clears throat> different other types of intermittent fasting. Another popular one is five and two, right? So five days on eating, you know, and then two days of actual fasting. And a lot of times people want to do that through, you know, Monday through Friday of the, you know, the, the eating gap and then allow s Saturday and Sunday to be the two days that they fast. And so, I mean, the, the beauty of the intermittent fasting is that it's, you know, you make it your own. And uh, you know you you can you can make it fit to to your schedule, right? Especially if you have like shift work and things like that, you can make it to where you know it, it fits your schedule and it benefits you um, personally. Um, again, mine is the sixteen the sixteen eight, and um, I've been doing that for about three and some years now. Okay. And just uh, love it. In all honesty, I you know um, I cannot see myself doing anything else. Um, you know, in this I. I one of the things about me is, again, as, as you mentioned, Chad, I'm a, definitely a nutrition uh, enthusiast. Yeah. And so I like kind of trying to um, do these, these fad diets and, and just try them out, mm -hmm. whether that's the, uh, the paleo diet, that's the macro diet, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, and, and this intermittent fasting has been something that has just worked for me. I've seen the benefits of, in, my, in my own self and just, uh, um, just all around seeing the benefits of when my wife does it. So tell me more about 16-8. Yeah. Yeah. Dive into that a little bit. Definitely. If I wanted to do 16-8 intermittent fasting, right. I'm guessing that's 16 hours Correct. of fasting? Yes, yes. Eight hours of eating? Yeah, 16 okay. hours. So how my normal day goes, you know, like today, um, I stopped eating at 8 o'clock yesterday, 8 o'clock p.m. yesterday. Um, this is Friday, so that was Thursday, okay. 8 o'clock, and then I did not eat until noon today. And so that's the, uh, the, the, the 16 hour type gap. And then the eight hour fasting usually consists of from you know, noon till eight o'clock that, that next evening okay. or that, that evening. Yep. And so that's usually, uh, you know, I'll have my lunch, I'll have a snack or two in between there and then I'll have dinner and then I'm pretty, uh, pretty set to go okay. and, and fast for that next day, so. And so you do this how many days a week? Uh, every day, uh, seven days a week, yeah. 24 seven? 24 seven, okay, yeah, cool. sure enough, yeah. Awesome. I know I've uh, found, I've seen it on documentary and I've seen some research online that talks about how eating less helps prolong your life. Something Daniel and I were talking about earlier today is I'm going to take a week for you guys and talk about longevity and focus every day on longevity. And one thing that research has found is that the less you eat correlates with the longer you live. I'm sure there's an extreme to that that doesn't work, but they found that if they decreased the test animal's diet by 30%, that those animals live 30% longer. Yeah, sure enough. So it, one of the benefits is longevity. Yeah, and that, any kind of fasting, uh, consistent fasting. Correct, correct. I mean, because one of the th uh, one of the pros of that intermittent fasting is they talk about uh, the longevity of, of life and the cellular growth in that. Okay. Is that a lot of times when you know the average body or the the average person 
that's able to uh, digest food fully is about 12 hours. Well, rarely do we go 12 hours, you know, you know without eating. And mm -hmm. so um, when we do that intermittent fasting, what's happening is that during that time of fasting, that cellular growth is happening and then your body goes into this repair state, right? Where it's just right. trying to repair itself, you know, trying to, you know, repair the muscles and things of that nature. And, and, and it's just very, very beneficial. And, okay. and there's been studies upon studies upon studies on that with, you know, with, uh, I mean, just with mice and everything. And just from, you know, personal testimonies of other people of just being like, you know, I, I feel better, you know, I feel, um, you know, well, before I've done this, it was just, you know, it was kind of like, you know, I felt real cloudy, just fatigued all the time. But then now, you know, when I've done my intermittent fasting, it's been, you know, I've been more energized, yeah. I've been feeling more lively and, cool. and things like that. So. so give us some tips. Let's say, maybe I'm interested in 16-8 yeah. fasting, 16 hours fasting every day. Right. Or maybe I'm, I'm uh, interested in taking the weekends and fasting. Mm -hmm. Any kind of consistent fast, maybe it's one day a week. Right. What tips? would you give to someone that's interested in intermittent yeah, fasting? I, it, it, that's a very good question, and I would recommend starting off slow. I mean, right. going right off the bat with the 16-8, I mean, that's, some people can do that, um, but I've also seen people who've tried, and then they just, you know, it's they tried for a few days, and then it's like, oh, this is just too difficult. I've gotta have my breakfast, or I've gotta do this. So I would recommend just, you know, cutting the meal off, you know, cutting, you know, cr doing the cut off at eight o'clock, and say, you know what, at eight o'clock, I'm, you know, I'm gonna stop eating at eight o'clock. I'm not gonna do any of those midnight snacks, 8 p.m. And then I'm gonna, um, one of the easiest things about that intermittent fasting is that most of that, that big chunk of that fasting, you're sleepy, you know? Mm. So that's a huge deal too, right? Right. And so um, one of the big chunks in that is that, you know, you're, you're spending eight hour, eight to, well, if, just assuming that you get six to eight hours of sleep, you know, you're spending that six to eight hours of that, half of that, you're, you're already asleep and so when you wake up you just you know you just kind of try to skip that breakfast meal but if that's a difficult thing for you I would say hey you know what I'm gonna I'm not gonna have something to eat until maybe 10 o'clock okay right kind of maybe not do that full 16 but maybe do 12 okay right and, and just start off small and build your way up there. okay yeah and I would also encourage you to drink a lot of water um, one of the cool things also about intermittent fasting is that they does allow you to have coffee, you know, just coffee black, tea, okay. you know, okay. just regular tea, and then yeah. of course all the water you want. Coffee is a suppressant, right, a hunger suppressant, okay. and so, I mean, at least it has been for me, and so when I, when I, drink, uh, when I drink some coffee, sometimes the, the hunger pains that I may have, it's, you know, it diminishes it, yeah, yeah, sure enough, and so, cool. you know, that's helped me is some, some a little bit as well. Okay, so there's this documentary that I found recently, Daniel, uh -huh. called In Defense of Food. So one of his main points is eat food, non-processed food. Mm -hmm. uh, some people call it real food. Mm -hmm. Not too much, mostly plants. And so as you were talking to me about intermittent fasting, I got to thinking about that documentary because um, when we eat less, we are healthier. Yeah. So it's, it's disciplining us physically and mentally and maybe even emotionally, to not have a strong of attachment to food. Yeah. Um, and by eating less, we prolong our life. Probably comes back to the cellular regeneration that you were talking yeah. about. Right? Yeah. Well, I liked what you said too. You know, it, it breaks that emotional tie because a lot wow. of people do struggle with, you know, eating their emotions. Right. Totally. That's where yeah. I was. And so, and so, that's you know, and, and that's a huge deal. And so, I think one of the things is that with that intermittent fasting, it does help that right where yeah. you know you break that emotional tie you know I don't live to eat right but it's I eat to live really good and one of the other things that's helped me uh, just personally with intermittent fasting is helped me with portion control you know okay. the idea there's a lot of misinterpretation that well if I'm in intermittent fasting when it hits lunchtime then I'm just gonna just gonna scarf everything down and then it's like well not necessarily it's crazy how how this whole thing just plays out because okay. after I inter intermittent fast and becomes lunchtime it's not that I want to just scarf down everything inside, but it's like you don't want to create this plate, and it's going to create a good, you know, good, good, decent portion. But I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to be satisfied. I'm not going to sit here and be like, okay, well, what else can I scarf down? But it's yeah. like, oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm satisfied, I'm content. I'm not uncomfortably full, yeah. but I know that I'm full, yeah. right? And it's no longer something that's just, you know, that guilt is not hanging over you, right? Where you, you've, you know, you've either eaten too much or you just feel just horrible because you've right, eaten too much right. and what you've eaten, yeah. but if anything, maybe you just feel satisfied, and I there like that, right? I think a, the better word that, you know, that, you know, other than fool is I'm satisfified, yeah. and I can just go on, you know? So good. Yeah. yeah, I know that in my experience, 
when I started this journey, mm -hmm. uh, I took a full week, well, six days to detox. Yeah. Wow. And I ate vegetable broth. I drank vegetable broth. I had a, li a few nuts, um, water, and tea for six days. And I felt like it completely reset my body, mm -hmm. probably my mind. But my stomach was probably smaller. So when I went to this new way of eating, I was I felt like I was working from ground zero. I didn't crave sugar. I didn't like it didn't have to have carbs, right? Because yeah. I had taken that time to reset my clock. That's good. Reset my body. Yeah. I know one of the benefits I've experienced from fasting is that I get back to a more natural way of perceiving and interacting with food. Yeah. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about intermittent fasting, I'm gonna give you Daniel's cell phone number. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to put some links below. Daniel's going to get me some resources that have helped him. I'm going to put those in the links below. I'm also going to link to that documentary. Love to hear your comments below. But guys, ultimately, thanks for watching. Daniel, thank you for being here yeah. and helping us with oh, this, this topic. It's an honor. Really thank appreciate you. it, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.